Hey guys, it's been a minute. It's been too long since I have uploaded a video on my YouTube channel. Today is the day that we do it. Ignore my hair. I get it. I'm looking real at it. Whatever. It is what it is. I had my hair for a long time. I forgot my edge control. But yeah. So right now we are at work and I just want to do some makeup and talk to you guys. It's been too, too long since <laughs> we did one of these videos. Um, I think I'm going to do a dark brow. I'm going to do a dark brow today. So let's do a dark brow. Let's do a dark brown brow. That's what we do. Excuse me. I have two nails that are missing. I have two nails that are missing. I got to fix. But yep, it is. Um, let's catch up. So basically, my life has changed so much. I know YouTube, everybody gonna be like, "Ew, why did she record her um, YouTube tutorial like this?" Um, because I want to. I don't have to have the typical way of recording my YouTube video like everybody else. I can do it the way I want to do it. Period. It don't have to be the way that you guys want me to do it, period. So, um, yeah, life has changed dramatically for me for the past this year. It is now September. We moved out of our apartment, uh, not our apartment, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Not our apartment. We moved out of our house back in March. Uh, we no longer have our house. And so now I've been staying with my sister. Oops. I've been I've been staying with my sister. And then my dude, he's been staying with a friend. And yeah, so it's really it sucks from going from living with your man for four years to not living with your man at all it sucks and he wondered why when we hang out overnight and stuff like that why i be so knocked out just missing his presence you know what i mean like i really be missing it i might have to go in my palette to make this darker but who knows i don't have all my makeup with me today only have some of it not all of it, only have some of it. But yeah, um, anywho, so life has changed dramatically. My boyfriend and I are no longer living together right now. So that's been pretty much getting to me. I've been really emotional as far as like feeling like, like, ugh, because I miss him. We see each other, but we don't see each other. I don't know how to explain it. Pretty much is just like grind mode. Don't don't say nothing about my brows. I'm about to correct them. I'm just really just throwing this stuff on here. But um we uh like I said we see each other but we don't see each other. So it it sucks. It really does. I want I be wanting to be around that man like all the time. Cause it went from me being around him every day to me not being around him every day so it sucks anywho so when me living with my sister i don't have the space that i love and the space that i desire is very uncomfortable um i thought it was gonna be short I didn't think that I was going to be staying with my sister as long as I've been staying with her, but God had other plans, so I'm staying with her still. I'm going through these concealers because your girl got to re-up on all her makeup. Right now, I've been down as uh, far as like this stuff color we're going to use. We're going to use a Milani, uh, Pro, um, the Milani um, concealer. And the 155 called Cool Sand. Mm -hmm, cool Sand. This is the concealer we're about to use right now to clean up these brows because I look in a mess right now. 
a real mess. We're going to do... Ugh, my bad, y'all. I am at work. One second. My bad. So you guys are going to hear the radio and stuff because I am at work and Frank never closed the gate. Okay, anyway. Yeah, so, and don't come for me. My brushes are low-key dirty. So what? But, um, yeah, so it's been like a altered, a, a life-changing changing experience because going from having your own into having to stay with somebody will drive you crazy. And depending on the situation and the circumstances and everything stuff will have it will be um hard on you and cutthroat if you allow it and right now i feel like i'm playing catch up i'm really playing catch up right now when it comes to a lot of stuff because due to um me moving i had to you know like when you move with somebody, of course, you got to put your dudes in. You can't just move in with people and think that you don't. You're not going to have your dudes to put in. You know what I mean? Uh, I've been... I find myself, if I'm sitting in the house all day and I'm not doing anything, I find myself feeling like I'm not doing nothing with myself. And that's not a good feeling. So, I tend to get out and try to do something that I feel like it is... Um, towards me um doing something towards my business or just for the move or whatever and yeah so that's i just been finding myself doing that doing that um I did something when we first moved out, when we first moved out of the house, it was crazy because we were in a situation where, uh, it was not only just me and my boyfriend staying there, but his baby mom was staying there too. So it was me and my boyfriend, his baby mom and their kids and then my kids. And then, um, so sometimes things got a little crazy at the house but not all the time not all the time things got crazy and you know so anywho like i said we were all staying at the house or whatever and when we moved out things was kind of you know hectic emotional for all of us because it was a you know it's a this is a change of scenery a change of everything so the kids went from being around each other like every day to not being around each other every day. And I was so used to, um, trying to get these brows right. I got so used to having all the kids around each other and, you know, just hearing them arguing, even though that's a part of it, hearing them argue, hearing them being excited over things and, you know, just all type of stuff. I was, I was happy about that. I was, I was happy about being around the kids all the time. And now that the situation is different, I don't get a chance to be around my stepkids, and that is starting to really uh, mess with my head because I miss them so much. Like it's ridiculous how much I miss them. I miss them a lot. And um, so yeah, I've been trying to hold it together but anywho so me and the baby mom we really didn't have like like a a good relationship we argued and um fussed a lot but um anywho when we moved out when you going through stuff like this far as like a change like a you know like a move or something the best thing to do is to come together and try to make it to where it's easy on all of you guys and not as hard if you know what i mean like work together and stuff like that it just seemed like when we moved out of the house 
things got worse between me and her. Like, the way she'll act when we'll see each other. Because think about it. We went from seeing each other every day to not seeing each other like that. And then it went from that to when we did see each other in public, she would act funny towards me. And I'll just be like, you know, me and I would allow her to shift my energy. And that's where I messed up at. I will allow her to shift my energy. And then next thing you know it, I'm arguing with my boyfriend because I allowed the girl to switch my energy. And can't blame on no one. I can't blame that on no one but myself. And that's just period. Like, I did it to myself. So, um, you guys are going to hear computers going off, phones going off, phone calls coming in. So, warning in advance. But anywho, um, yeah, so we, every time we had, we were meeting up. In the beginning, we were meeting up, hanging out and stuff. Because we were trying to, like, get out the house and, like, you know, make have the kids spend time together. The kids were out of school at this point. So, uh, no, they were still in school. It was the end of the school year. They were still in school. Excuse me. They were still in school. And we pretty much uh, were meeting up and stuff and hanging out. And the kids was pretty much hanging out and stuff like that. But every, it was times where me and her would meet up and it would be cool. Everything would be all cool, peachy, creamy, no issues, none of that. But it seemed like as soon as we meet up and he there, that's when she started acting funny and stuff like that. So I would just be like irritated at that stuff and whatever. So anywho, after a while, we stopped meeting up and stuff. We stopped meeting up because it was it was too much. It was too much drama. It was extra a lot of the stuff that was going on should have been going on. Just That's just facts. And it shouldn't even have gotten like that, period. Especially for the kid, for the sake of our kids. So, um, we stopped meeting up or whatever. And he made it like that, which I felt like was the best decision for us to do at the time. Because it was just like, it was just too much. It was way too much drama unnecessary drama for no reason at all and it was just was just like i said it was just too much so over the time i would trip on him and all the other stuff because of the shit she was posting on social media of the stuff that she was posting on social media i ain't gonna lie i tripped off of that i sure did i tripped off of it a lot and he will tell me, stop tripping off of what she writing, stay off her page, yada, yada, yada. So, I blocked her on social media. And now I'm starting to think that maybe I shouldn't have blocked her. I'm starting to feel like that because I miss, I miss the kids. I miss them. Oh my God, I miss, 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 miss them. And it just seemed like ever since I blocked her, it's just like, I don't know how to explain it, but I just feel like this void because the kids will hit me up, we will talk, all this other stuff. But ever since I blocked her on social media, the kids, I haven't spoken to them, I don't, I don't know how long it's been since I've spoken to my stepkids. I have no idea. None whatsoever. So it's been getting to me because I want to talk to them. I want to see them. I want to talk to them. I want to hear their voices. And it's been so long. And it's just starting to feel like sometimes we need to be the bigger person and not allow other people to um, get to us as far as, like, make us act a certain way or 
act out of character or, or anything of that nature. And I hate that it got like that with her because I miss my baby. I miss my babies. I miss them. I miss my babies. But um, that's the one thing that I said that I was disappointed about. Another thing that I'm disappointed about is the fact that I've been having so many issues with my um my sister due to all the stuff that's been going on as far as like life, everything else. I just it's just been like it's been real hectic. It's been real irritating. And that's just what it been. That's just what it's been. You know what I'm saying? But um, I just been working on me, working on like as you see my business. Um, it's um, I want to grow my clientele. I do. I want a bigger clientele. I want it to be where I'm doing makeup all the time. And where I don't have to come to work. And that on, not only am I doing clients, but also advancing in, on my social media platforms. I know this video is going to be weird because it's not your typical layout of a of the video. It's supposed to be like, you know, like the movie mode. But I honestly feel like it should just be like this because I want it to be like this. But, um, yeah, it's been pretty hectic. Like I said, things have not been the same. Things have been different as far as, like, with everything. I noticed that my patience is not as, it's not there like how I usually be, and I hate that. Because normally I'm a very, very patient person. And I've always been patient all my life. I never had issues with that. And it just seemed like over the time, I just grew very impatient when it comes to a lot of stuff. And it's not because I want to. It's just because a lot of stuff keep happening. This looking like a lot of stuff just going on right now. Like, I just want everything to be different as far as, like, with certain situations um and i just feel like the kids is growing up away from each other and it's not the same it's not enough it's not the same and i just don't want it to be where it's nonsense i may be blocking her on social media it wasn't the best thing to do because you know certain people when you do certain things uh they lash out you know what i'm saying so maybe blocking her on facebook wasn't the best idea but i feel like i had to do it for myself i had to do it for myself because i felt like she was pissing me off like i don't know how to explain it she was just really pissing me off and the things that she was posting was not making it no better and um me and him supposed to be at a certain point so it was not helping the situation at all it just wasn't so i blocked her for that because i needed it i needed those space i needed to not see what she was putting on social media I need to not see that. And that's just facts. Like, and then I felt like the best way for me not to see what she was posting on social media was for me to not have it to be where I see what she was posting on social media. And that's just period. That's just what I felt at the time.
trying to do this wing eye look thing. I hopefully I'm successful at it. I'm really trying hard. Um, but um, yeah. Um, other than that, your girl's a loner. I don't really have a lot of friends, and it's because I feel like, you know, I'm very, I'm very big on um, God does stuff for a reason. Very big on that, and I feel like at this point in my life, He don't want me to be around people. He don't want me having a lot of friends. He want me to just mainly focus. So that's how I feel right now. I feel like God wants me to truly focus on what I gotta do as far as for like on my end. This is gonna take me some time, so I'm about to do this off camera. Now, it's been like, um, hella hectic on um like i said with uh everything that's been going on and stuff like that um i try not to allow certain things to get me to where i'm just like completely out of it because sometimes i be feeling like with all the stuff that's been going on in my life that's where it's like i feel like that's where that's pretty much where it's headed and that's just that's just big facts. It feels like it's that's where it's headed because I get overwhelmed. I get it just be it it it's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot lot. Um, I have always start doing makeup heavy. Promotion wise, for promotional reason, I started doing makeup real heavy, like really, really heavy. And then I'll stop. And same thing with my workouts. I'll start working out really, really heavy. And then I'll stop. And I tend to do that a lot. I tend to do that a hell of a lot. This is something new. I hope it turns out as pretty as I wanted it, as I wanted it to be. But um, I, I can't say I can't say consistent if my life depend on it. So I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to break that cycle. I want to break that cycle. It's hard to break that cycle. Because we get lazy. I know I do. I'm very guilty of that. I'm very, very, very guilty of getting lazy. And knowing that if I continue to push and stuff like that, I'll have exactly everything that I want. How I want it to be and everything. And I know that. I know that. <laughs> I know. But, your yeah, girl... It's lazy. I get to the point where I want to do nothing. And it's only because I be in my head. I be like, oh, I feel like doing nothing right now. And then next thing you know, I feel like doing nothing right now. It turns into, I don't feel like doing nothing for the next couple of months right now. And I've been noticing that I do that. I do that. I do that all the time. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of doing that. Who wants to do that all the time? Not me. It's it's a lot. It's a lot of stress. It's a lot. Anywho. Then I feel like everything is just piling down on me at once. As far as like situations personal situations situations at um home my kids life 
and it just seemed like they all happened around the same time. I get tired, I get fed up. Sometimes I just wanna run the fuck away. Literally leave, not look back. Then I tell myself, I say, what is running away gonna do? What is running, how's, what is it gonna solve? It's not gonna solve anything. It's not gonna feel no, it's not gonna feel that void that I've been feeling. It's not. I'm gonna still be feeling that same way. I'm gonna be still going through stuff. I'm gonna pile like three pair of lashes on. I need like three pair. But, um, I had to order me some more of these. Got these off of Amazon. It was 48 pairs or something like that for $8. Something like that. Shirley, where are we going with this? We're going we gonna to figure it out. But, um, yeah, like I said, like, first we're going to put on these heavy pair right here. Right here. So, like I said, life is crazy. Life is. And then it's even like, I never used to have an issue with submitting to my man. Never. And I have been allowing so many people to get me so worked up, so out of whack, so jacked up to the point to where I'm having issues with submitting. I never had issues with submitting. Never had that issue at all. And now all of a sudden, that's the issue. I never had that issue. I loved, still do, still love submitting to my man. I love the feeling of knowing that I have him, I have him, he had my back. My man has my back. Can't nobody tell me no ifs, ands, and buts about that. That man genuinely has my back. Genuinely has it. And a lot of people seem to not like certain things about him. Seem to not like the fact that he is the way he is. Instead of looking at it as this man had really truly been having my back, he been taking care of me and my kids. Not only me and my kids, he was taking care of his baby mama and her kids. And not only that, he was taking care of my daughter. And my first daughter is not by him. It's by a whole different man who choose not to be there. He don't fight for her because if you really wanted to be there for your daughter, you would fight. He didn't like the he don't like the way I tried to handle things. You don't like the way I try to handle things. That's your part. That's your fault. I'm not about to sit here and give you what you want. That's what I'm not about to do. I have a daughter who is very, very smart, very intelligent, and who's also going through the stuff that she's going through. But she also understands what's going on around her. And that's just period. That's facts. And I don't want her to ever feel like... I don't want her to feel that way I felt because my dad wasn't there. So I'm not going to sit here and play games with this man who want to play hopscotch on when he want to be in his daughter's life. That's not what we're about to do. We're not doing that. I'm not about to have this man toy with my daughter. Period. So... I, I feel like whenever he really, really, really ready to be a daddy or whatever, by all means, you can be a daddy. But until then, I ain't got time to play with this man. I ain't got time to play with him. And he's not about to be playing with my daughter. That's what he's not about to do, period. So that's fucking out. But like I said, it's crazy because 
with everything that's going on with my situation as far as my life I gotta keep myself level headed so I said I'm about to start channeling all that negative into I'm sorry if I'm blocking my face all that negative into a positive thing which is my makeup my nail stuff I gotta still practice on I have a lot of practicing to do when it comes to nails but my makeup all day I'm more natural with it cause it's something I've been doing for a long time I'm very natural with the makeup stuff it comes way easy compared to the nail stuff. The nail stuff don't come as easy as the makeup. And I'm loving how this look. I'm going to have to cut this though on the side. So we're going to just take this. And we're going to take my concealer. We're going to cut off some of this wing because it doesn't match. And I can see that from here. It doesn't match. So we about to make it match. But um, That's better. Yeah. So. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. Don't get me wrong. Me and my dude, we had our issues. We have our issues. And you know what? It's only because. Only because it's so much stuff going on right now. In our lives. So much. Like. Very. It's so much it's so much going on in our lives like I said it gets hectic with us sometimes we're human we we still working on a lot of stuff and um elf primer you know what I'm saying it's really really good but uh we go through our stuff and um we're trying to make it we're trying to make it for our kids and sometimes we get frustrated and we take it out well mainly me it don't be him it be me and then I take it out on him and no I don't try to do it on purpose it's not intentional it's not it just happens and um I be feeling so bad because I be like damn like why I always got a trip like why I can't just be cool calm down and just understand that the best thing for us to do is to really be here for each other, work together. It's going to be hectic. No, sometimes I don't do that. Lately, I've been doing a cool, I've been, everything's been really, really cool. It's only because I've been having it to be where it's cool because it's me mainly. <laughs> that ass, me. That be tripping, that be in my head and that be all super emotional and not all oh, this and this and that and having pity parties for myself which is not gonna get you nowhere trust you sitting here feeling sorry for yourself it's not gonna get you nowhere it's not gonna it's not and that's just facts it's just not gonna get you nowhere so um Things with me and him was hectic. And, uh, but it got better. Because I'm starting to understand that I have no control over a lot of stuff. <laughs> Never really ever had any control over anything that is going on. And that now that I understand that, I understand that fully things have been going way smoother the understanding between us have been way better 
the arguments have not been arguments. It's been more of discussions between us two. I don't know why this color is giving very much ashy, but it's cool because we're going to go in with a different brush and really blend, blend this color in because I'm feeling like I'm looking very dead in the face. But, um, yeah, like I said, we um really have been working together being a team understanding each other having way 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 better communication when it comes to things and just overall better everything and that's just facts that's just period that's just facts everything's just been way better and um here so i've been um trying to understand a whole lot as far as when it comes to these situations and trying not to allow these things to mess with your girl so this is what we got coming up let's talk about uh, upcoming things so if you don't know, if you don't already know, I have my own podcast called Cheryl's Crazy World. I go in there and I talk to her. And um, yes, I call my podcast a her because it is a her. And um, I try to look at my podcast more of like a, a diary. Because what I notice is I'd be so sad. Like, oh, I don't have a girlfriend as far as like a girlfriend that I talk to all the time. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that I don't got no friends because I do have friends. It's just we all have lives. And then I can't expect for them to drop everything that they got going for me. Period. And then I'm pretty sure they ex like feel the same way. Like, you know, they know I have my life and they know that I have the stuff that I got going on. And I'm sure they don't expect for me to drop everything that I'm doing for them. You know what I'm saying? So... It's just like it gets crazy. Put some down here too. But um, it gets crazy because um, put two because this color go a long way. Two small ones around my nose. Yeah. So um, and it's the juvious place, of course. Juvious place. I need to get more of that because that concealer goes a long way and I barely use any because uh do you see that this is exactly why I don't put a lot of this on because uh, a little goes a long way but um yeah so I don't expect for them to drop what they doing and then come to my rescue all the time I, I don't expect that at all so um I forgot to blend this up, but when they are able, they're able to be here and give me an ear when they can. And I don't expect for them to be able to do it all the time. I don't, I don't expect for them to be able to do it all the time. And that's just real. So, um, yeah, it, um, I find myself uh, hold on, I'm trying to make sure I get this nose contour right. I'm really crazy over here doing my makeup, looking dead at the camera <laughs> and not in my mirror. It's cool though. It's still coming out really nice. I like how it's looking. I'm looking how she looking. Let's bake. Let's bake this cake. So, um, <sighs> yeah, so I just been really like trying to. Yeah, she's looking really good. I'm liking how this looks. Wait till what you say I do at the bottom. But um we about to bake right now. But yeah, so um 
I'm so all over the place with this topic. So, anyways, I got my uh the new upcoming things that I'm doing far as like with my podcast and stuff. I want to do it more so like on video where you can physically see me talking about stuff. I like that. But then again, I was thinking like maybe I should just have it to where it's still like where you can just sit there and listen instead of having it to be where um, I haven't been paying attention. My bad. But um, but having it to just oops, that was not I was not supposed to do that. But um, yeah, cause um, let's bronze this face some more. Um. Yeah, because I need to uh make more EPs. I have episodes right now, but I'm, I need to make some more. And um, so we're going to make some more. But uh, anywho, right now I'm going to go into this orangey shade to give me some, like, an orange type of red blush. I don't know why I just want, like, an orange blush. I don't want nothing to, what is this? This ain't it. It's a different brush. But I want like an orangey type blush going on right now. But um blend that out. Oh, I like that. Okay. Let's put some of this on our nose. Let's get some more, put it on our nose. But yeah, um, Then we're gonna give ourselves a orangey glow on top of that. But um just in general, just all the stuff that's just been going on been crazy. Like I said, we about to really um turn I wanna bring more excitement to my podcast, have it where it really pops. Um I want it to be where it really, 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 really pops. And um in order for me to have it like that. I got to figure out uh, more material to draw people in as far as, like, the things that I talk about on my podcast. I need more material Ooh, that I'll draw people in when I'm discussing certain things. So, that's uh, that's the goal. Let's put some of this green down here. Ball in this corner right here. But, um, let's pack that on. Yeah, let's go on and pack that on. I didn't bring my makeup wipes to work. I am so fired. It's ridiculous. I like that. It's giving. I need more. Oh, my chin area. No, that's not it. Where is she at right here? But yeah. Um. Mix these two colors. There, man. See how that looks? That looks really good. And then we're gonna make them go like that. Mix them. Do the same thing over here. I like, I like getting some on my forehead. I love a good glow on my forehead. So now let's get to these lips. So I did a lot of orangey greens and stuff undertone. So we're gonna do like a a natural lip, nothing too extra. So that's what we're about to do right now. We're gonna do a natural lip. So we're gonna do some browns. We're gonna do brown. Um, so we're gonna do some. We're gonna do brown right now. But um, took me about forty five minutes to do this came out pretty nice so you know I tell myself we gotta we gotta promote we gotta we gotta um oh, this right here 
So I told her, I was like, oh yeah, I gotta promote, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get on my shit, cause I, cause I do, cause I do. Um, there she is. So, the towel, like, the lips on. Okay. So, I got wipe that lip gloss off because I'm trying to keep my lips moisturized. But I'm just excited about all the stuff I'm trying to bring to the table. All right, let's get this brown. And then, um, kind of brown is like a, a nude color. but I can't wait for you guys to see what I got in store I cannot wait but yeah if you have any beef with any person far as like baby mamas girls whatever drop it Cause I told myself like me blocking her, like I said in the beginning was stupid. I should never blocked her. So now the thing is I need to change that far as how my approach on things, make things different and not just for her, but for myself. I also know that in order for me to grow, I'm gonna have to um, change some stuff about me. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, far as what I got going on next, I'm about to continue doing my makeup thing. My um, TikTok has been going up very happy uh, lately. My views have been kind of crappy, but you know, we're going to still figure out. We're going to still push. We're going to still, even if I don't get paid from TikTok, I'm going to still push my business out there for people to see. Um, I'm going to still be doing my more of these uh, tutorials far as, uh, not tutorials, but more YouTube videos because it's been a while. And um, I'm going to just continue pushing and doing the stuff that I've been doing. I thank you guys for all your support. More videos to come your way. This video is not your normal format, but hey, <laughs> it is what it is. So I will see you guys on the next ep not episode. That's how you know I do my podcast <laughs> a lot. I'll see you guys on the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me comments down below if you have anything you want to say as far as if anything, any information you want to know. All of that. Before I turn this camera off, though, I am going into my LA Girl um, primer. It's like a shimmer spray uh, face body. It got glitter in it. I love, I'm a sucker for glitter. I love that sound. Yeah, your girl love that sound. So we about to spray this face, set this face. And it smells really, really good. Oh, it smells like baby powder. I love it. And it has like a really, really pretty shimmery shine. This is the finished look. I'm about to take pictures, do some um some TikTok videos, and then um it's a wrap. So I say I'll catch you guys again on the next video. Please come back. More subscribers. We need more subscribers on my channel because 19 is not enough. Can we get to 23? Can we get to 30? Can we get to 50? Can we get to 100? Let's get it up there. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching my video. I'm sorry if at one point it seemed like I got a little boring. I'm really, I apologize about that. But see you, catch you guys again. Thank you. Peace.